Hello everyone, for today's video I'll be going over how to unlock everything for the 4th DLC pack for Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. So before we get started, in the description there'll be timestamps to everything that I'm talking about, so if you want to learn how to unlock a certain thing, there will be a timestamp for it in the description. So firstly, we will be going over how to unlock everything from the free section of the update, which is from the TP Metal Store. You do not need DLC pack 4 or the season pass for these. Everyone who has Xenoverse 2 has access to the following attacks and costumes. So firstly, before you even start Xenoverse 2, you will need to change the date of your console. Now, I don't know if or how this works for Xbox One, Steam, and I guess at some point in the future, the Switch, simply because I do not own Xenoverse 2 for those consoles. So again, I just cannot confirm if they work or not on those consoles I've just mentioned. So firstly, on the PS4, go to settings, then network, then untick, connect to internet, then go on to date and time, then date and time settings, then click on set manually, then enter a date and we'll go over which date you need to put in to get certain attacks in the moment. And click off that, then simply start Xenoverse 2 while staying offline. If you connect online, it just will not work and the TV metal store will stay closed. So firstly, if you set your console to the 30th of June 2017, the three attacks that are available are Spirit Stab and Savage Strike for 200 TP medals each and Dual Mesenko for 170 TP medals. There's one costume you can get which is the Yajirabe costume for 50 TP medals per piece of the outfit and the two accessories available here are the Great Ape Hat and Tail Piece and the Saint Tail for 30 medals each. Setting your console to the 7th of July 2017 gives you access to two attacks which are Burning Strike for 250 TP medals and Sword of Hope for 300 TP medals. There's one costume you can get if you set your console to this date and that is the Great Ape Suit for 70 TP medals per piece. And finally, if you set your console to the 22nd of July 2017, you will have access to the Margin Mark or the Margin Emblem, whichever you want to call it, it's the same thing, and that will just cost you 40 TP medals. So going into the paid part now, you'll need either the fourth DLC pack for Xenoverse 2 or just the season pass. So firstly, we'll go over the ultimate finishes for the three new parallel quests because you do need to get an ultimate finish to unlock a few of the things that I'm about to mention. So firstly, for the ultimate finish on parallel quest 110, clear with Super Saiyan Rosa Goku Black's health over 50% and then defeat Mira. To get the ultimate finish on parallel quest 111, clear within 5 minutes and then defeat Super Saiyan Rosa Goku Black and Super 17. And finally, for parallel quest 112, Clear with all your allies surviving and then defeat Android 17 and the others. So in Parallel Quest 110, to unlock Divinity Unleashed, just defeat Terra and she will have a chance of dropping it. It's that simple. To unlock this fight is on just beginning Super Soul, simply defeat Kid Buu and he as well will have a chance of dropping it. And to unlock the second Super Soul from this Parallel Quest which is called I Shall Show You My Great Godly Might, defeat Mira and Terra and after the ultimate finish warning has came up you'll then have a chance to get it and if you do the You Got Equip pop up will, well, pop up. <laughs> And finally, for this parallel quest, to unlock the Super Saiyan 4 outfit, simply clear it with the ultimate finish and you will be guaranteed to get at least one piece of the outfit per completion, as well as the accessory which is the hair and tail. Moving on to parallel quest 111, to unlock Lightning of Absolution, defeat Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black the first time he appears, and to unlock Holy Wrath, simply defeat him the second time he appears. To unlock the I feel it, everyone, then me your power super soul, simply get the ultimate finish and I do believe it will have a chance to drop. I think it may be a guaranteed drop if you do get the ultimate finish, but at the very least it has a very, very high drop rate. And finally, for Parallel Quest 111, to get the Resistance Clothing, I think you need to get an ultimate finish, I'm not too sure, but at the very least you do need to just clear it, of course, but I do think if you get the ultimate finish, it'll just guarantee at least one piece of the clothing to drop, but I would recommend getting the ultimate finish, because if you do, and then you defeat Super 17, he will have a chance to drop the Resistance Helmet, or the Resistance Accessory, it's basically the helmet for the Resistance Outfit. And finally, moving on to Parallel Quest 112, to unlock Blades of Judgment, strangely enough, just defeat legendary Super Saiyan Broly, like he's the one who drops it, surprisingly, and to unlock Divine Wrath Purification, defeat Fused Zamasu. There's three Super Saiyans you can get from this parallel quest, 
Firstly, the I ain't losing, here's my full power, simply defeat Zamasu the first time he appears and that will give you a chance to drop it to unlock the I'm never gonna forgive him Super Soul, defeat Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black and much like with Zamasu Super Soul, that will give you a chance for it to drop and finally, for the sorry, you were way open there, simply get the ultimate finished and much like with the previous two Super Souls, that will give you a chance for it to drop. It's not a guaranteed drop but just get the ultimate finish just to be safe. So thank you guys for watching this video, I do hope you found it useful, and I do hope you're enjoying DLC Pack 4 for Xenoverse 2. So with that being said, thank you once again, and I will see you next time.